What's up everybody? Today is April 22nd, 2020. Um, official, I think it's Earth Day maybe. I'm not sure. I, I'm losing track of the days honestly. Um, but just finished my day at work, uh, working from home. Um, as you know, this is not my full-time job. In fact, this is just kind of like a you know, hobby for me. So um, just finished the work day. Daughter just went down for her you know, afternoon nap. So I figured, you know, I got an hour, so probably about 30 minutes worth of fishing. Um, I want to get out of the house. I know the conditions today are less than ideal. Um, it has been windy as can be recently. Um, you know, it was blowing all night in the 20s, and it's already gotten down or all the way up to the 30s for wind speed right now out of the west. Um, what, uh, the air temp dropped too. It was in the low 30s last night. In fact, right now it says it feels like it's in the 30s. So, um, you know, it's going to be pretty crappy conditions, but we're going to make the most of it. Um, I hear people all the time say, oh, you, you can't catch fish or unfishable conditions. Uh, I mean, I, I truly don't believe that there's many unfishable conditions, but we're going to put that to the test today. Uh, we're going to head up to a spot throw some blood worms out and see if we can get some stripers all right so we just got to the first spot man and the wind is howling man uh weatherman got it right today they did say it was going to be pretty windy and i mean it's no joke i mean it's blowing 30 gusts up to 40 but we'll uh we'll see if we can get some fish out of this Fish on, let's go. Even in these windy conditions, man. That's like a solace when you get me. Yeah, a little striper. Holy moly. Nice looking little striper. Man, that wind is howling, but we are getting hits. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah. Thank God, man. I tell you, I was beginning to think. I was beginning to think that. Uh, they were gonna stop biting. Oh man, that wind is just woo. Lord, look at this little guy. Oh my god, my rod just didn't blow. Jeez. I'm gonna try and get him back in the water quick because <clears throat> can't feel good on him being out of the water, but a little beautiful striper. Off he goes. See, most people would consider fishing today unfishable conditions but oh fish on I, I beg to differ you know what I mean uh, best thing I ever invested in is this jacket I'm wearing it's a stormer uh, if you've ever watched my videos you see this time of year I'm wearing this literally uh, pretty much when it's cold as can be like it is right now and <clears throat> I honestly am I'm sweating like my upper body is sweating from uh wearing this jacket so if you have a good jacket you could definitely handle being out in the elements like this but it's a cute little striper we're gonna let him go all right we just got in the car uh from the first spot i have the surf rods always keep us two surf rods in my truck just in case i'm glad i did uh, i got like 30 more minutes to fish so Figure we'll give the other place a shot and see if uh, we could get away from a little bit of this wind. So stay tuned. 
All right, so we just got to spot number two. Got the surf rods all rigged up. That took a little bit of time. The wind is picking up and the sky does not look very good. So we'll give it a shot. We'll see if we can get a few more fish at this spot. So stay tuned. All right, so for this rig, rig number one is a chunking rig. And what it is is a fish finder, you know, slides up and down the line. That way the bait can move. Fish can pull it, but they don't feel the weight. Uh, I'm using a three ounce pyramid sinker on this. We've got uh, two feet of leader with a Mustad 8 hook. It's uh, just a bait holder, but we're gonna fish that with a piece of bunker. All right, so rig number two, what we're gonna be fishing with blood worms is just the regular high-low rig with a, a Gamagatsu red hook. I, you really can't tell because this one's getting beat up. The fish are kind of ripping the paint off of it. Um, the rig itself is only about two feet long um with the hooks about six inches apart and then down below we have a pyramid three ounce sinker but it's like a surf pyramid i believe is what they're called uh the line that i'm using on this is just 20 pound test mono uh, so let's get some blood worms on and get it out there all right so i'm gonna walk her out there i'm not gonna go too far i got the surf rod um so it's not like I gotta go, you know, up to my chest to make a cast. Probably gonna go up to my hips, which is right about here. All right, first cast of the day, baby. Hopefully there's a hunger strike we're waiting for. All right, so next thing we got, if I can open this bag right here. We just got ourselves a bag of frozen bunker. Still pretty frozen, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to put it in the water a minute, thaw it out. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, cut off a little chunk. All right. Now we're now we're cooking with fire. All right. So now we got our chunking rig with a uh, three ounce pyramid sinker on a fish finder above the uh, two feet leader. Just take this chunk of frozen bunker. Feed it through once. Man. Yeah, I need this to fall out a little bit more. Fish are gonna get brain freeze from this bait. And we're gonna try and feed it through <clears throat> one more time without hopefully hooking our hand. Ah, there we go. So we're gonna go to the left of this rod, huck this sucker out there, and see what's biting today. All right, we'll sit and wait. Oh snap, oh man. Dude, this rod, oh man, this rod literally got ripped out of the rod holder. That was quick. I'm telling you guys, I literally just put the other rod with bunker in the rod holder and Man, this, this rod literally ripped out of the holder. The holder's hopefully not drifting away behind me. Look at that. Damn. We got ourselves a striper, baby. Uh, hold on. Uh, put the rod holder. Uh, I got the holder back in the water. Back in the sand. All right, sorry for that, guys. Now, we are keeping this fish in the water. Whoa. We're gonna keep this fish in the water. Uh, just to <clears throat> prevent any harm. Let me uh, get my... All right, so just got this bad boy out of the water. That's not a bad size one. That's a beautiful, you know, little striper. I'd say it's probably 20 inches. We're gonna slowly let him go. And off he goes in. That was awesome, man. I'm serious. I haven't been here more than like three minutes. Uh, so let's bait up that rod with more frozen bloodworms and see if we can keep catching them. All right, so finally got the two rods in the holders. Uh, I'm serious, that last fish, I just casted out the bunker rod, which is to the right. And when I came back, my rod holder was literally getting pulled into the water. Uh, that's, um, that's my bad. I should have put it in a little bit deeper. I, but fortunately, we did not lose a rod or the holder. So just sitting and waiting for fish number two. All right, getting a hit, getting a hit. 
Fish on, let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Uh, this one feels small. Oh, I think he might have came off. Oh, I think he came off. Battery's swimming right towards us. I don't know, actually he might be swimming towards us. That's literally just went slack for like 10 seconds. He's still on, he's just tiny. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh, baby striper, baby. Let's get him off the hook. Now, if you notice, I'm leaving the rod in the holder. That way I can use both my hands to safely release that fish just like that, and off he goes. So, that's not too bad. Now, what's kind of nuts is we haven't had a touch on the bunker rod yet. Now, let me reel in the slack real quick. Could have something to do with the size bait. I mean, I am using a bigger piece of bait on that rig uh, to hopefully target a bigger fish. But frozen blowworms seem to be the ticket right now. I mean, fresh, here's what I will tell you. Fresh bloodworms, you can't beat in the fact that they'll stay on the hook much better than these guys are. These guys, I'm kind of really, uh, I should have salted them, honestly, because they're, they're very soft. But, you know, you live and learn. I threw them in the, the freezer because I was in a rush. But let's get this back out there and see if we can get another fish. Man, I'm gonna have to scrub my hands with like lemon juice when I get home. The smell is just like permeating on my hands now what i'm doing now because i've been getting hits pretty quickly on the blowworm rod i'm holding that but i'm also standing parallel excuse me with my bunker rod that way i can keep an eye on it because if something does grab that it's gonna you know rip the rod holder out of the sand because you know it's a pretty big bait um but i just have it in my peripheral right here you might not see it on the camera but i am keeping an eye on it could do what i what i personally do i'll look you know before i'm about to go use my wind app and look at what direction the wind's coming at now once i determine what the you know the wind speed and the wind direction is i use google earth and i hover over you know the spots that i plan on going to with the compass uh faced in the direction that you know the wind is coming from so that i know exactly where it should be and it will help me, you know, plan accordingly. For instance, uh, where I'm at, the wind is uh, blowing directly behind me, which makes it much more fishable than, you know, the wind blowing directly in my face. Um, there's also different, you know, techniques I like to look at, like, it's not just wind, so tide's another thing. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I got a little girl, a little daughter, and all my fishing trips revolve around her naps and bedtime. So, you know, it's not like I'm picking the optimal time of the day to go fishing. Trust me, if, if that were the case, I'd be fishing probably two hours from right now. But, um, you know, I'm just making the most of the time that I have and uh, trying to, you know, do the best I can. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how much more time I have. I looked at the radar. There's some thunderstorms coming through. I don't know if you could really tell by the dark skies in the you know distance oh oh fish on let's go i'm here giving you a weather report like an idiot man that rod that almost grabbed the rod out of my hand oh this feels like a bigger one definitely bigger than that last little rat we had oh damn yay definitely bigger this guy's got a little bit of a head shake to him Whew, man if fishing turns out to be like this i might fish through a thunderstorm i don't even care now, while I'm getting this guy closer to me, uh, ooh, yeah, it's definitely a bigger fish. Man. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm saying look at that. My hand's in the way. Yeah, that's a bigger fish. We're going to put the rod in the holder so we can safely handle this fish. Might lose it, but that's okay. Uh, because we, we don't want to harm this, uh, this fish. Whoa, he saw my legs. Yeah, look at that. Now that's, I didn't bring a measuring tape, but that's pretty close to a keeper sized fish. Uh, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But why I'm <clears throat> keeping them in the water like this, I don't want to harm this, you know, fish. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. That's definitely, that's a big one. What I don't want to do 
is take this fish out of the water for you know multiple minutes at a time because <clears throat> You know, I'm not trying to put this fish through an Instagram shoot. I'm trying to, you know, safely release him. You know, I'm going to just pull him out for one second. Yeah, that's a beautiful freaking striper, man. Maybe not a keeper. That's probably like heartbreak on a hook. Probably like 26, 27. But, you know, I don't want this poor fish being out of the water more than he has to be. You know, and he's gone. Uh, I see some of these guys that catch, you know, an undersized striper. And then they put it through an Instagram, you know, food photo shoot. It's like, come on, man fish has been out of the water for you know 10 minutes because you you couldn't find the right filter on instagram like don't be that guy or girl you know what i mean if you're not gonna you know if you're planning on keeping the fish by all means you know do it up put them through a 30 minute photo shoot but you know if you're planning on releasing the fish don't you know try not to keep it out of the water for an extended period of time now i'm gonna be honest with you i watch a lot of youtube videos and i watched one the other day it was shot, you know, over a year ago from a, a local jetty by me. And, you know, I'm not going to drop names, but this guy had no clue, like, fisherman's etiquette for one and how to handle fish. He was just catching these little blue fish, and he's literally, like, th throwing them on the rocks, stepping on them, and then throwing them back, hitting rocks while they're getting thrown back. Like, I, I don't get people like that. Like, if you're not going to keep it, why are you going to, you know, harm the fish any more than it's been? Now, while I get this bait out, here's the other thing, too. If I'm not planning on keeping the fish, I'm not going to drag it out to measure it. So I know there's probably going to be, you know, the trolls that will say, oh, that's not a 26-incher. That doesn't look that big. Listen, buddy, I, you know, if, for you future trolls that are going to harass me about it, that fish, you know, is out of the water for less than eight seconds. So, you know, I don't, I don't need your opinion on, you know, how big a striper is. If you're watching, you know, this channel, you know that I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not trophy hunting by any means. We're just trying to catch fish. All right, unfortunately, we did run out of time today. Uh, a little disappointed, no hits on the bunker, but I do understand that it is, uh, you know, a learning process now i'm not going to say bunker doesn't work because i know i've caught a ton of fish on bunker some things i'll probably look into is maybe the style of uh, rig i was using or presentation might not have been right but uh yeah because that's a good looking piece of bait so let's get the other rod in 